It's been over two years since construction first began on the new John R. Oshai Children's Hospital. Take a look at this amazing time lapse video. Yeah, we have watched the new state of the art facility go up beam by beam, floor by floor. And as of tonight, the hospital is nearly 85% complete and on schedule to open its doors in November of 2017. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Paolo Suro takes us inside. That's like a five year stretch that you hope all the assumptions you made are really going to be the right ones. Five years in the making and less than nine months to go. The new John R. O'Shai Children's Hospital, 85% completed. And while the doors are still closed to the public, Mickey Mariocker, who's in charge of construction here, opened them up for 7 Eyewitness News Wednesday morning. This is where mom will come uh, to, to deliver the baby. From delivery room to mother baby rooms, it all adds up to 12 floors and 185 beds. A hospital that will soon be one of only 43 freestanding children's hospitals in the nation. We actually took on about six million dollars worth of changes and are still on schedule and on budget. Speaking of budget, Mary Acker says it's a $273 million project, $170 million going towards construction, $50 million for equipment and furniture, and the rest towards fees. I like to tell people that in healthcare, for every dollar you spend, 50 cents is behind the wall or above the ceiling. For example, this room covered in copper from floor to ceiling, or this plumbing and fire protection. Behind the scenes work, you won't see opening day. But our ceilings will be at around nine feet, which means there's nine feet of space above the ceiling before you get to the next floor. So the crews continue to work hard, making the hospital accessible from every angle, including this corridor, an easy walk to Buffalo General. So if mom is over here delivering and is having any kind of an issues. Um, currently, the, the plan is quick get her in an ambulance and bring her over here. But in the future, she's having an issue, you just run her right down the hallway. Mariocker says they're ready to open their doors and welcome their first patient this November. In Buffalo, Paolo Suro, 7 Eyewitness News.